In this video, I'll go through the worksheet that we got in class, which is determining the equation of parabolas. I'll put some time tags down the bottom for you so you can just skip to the question numbers as you need them. So we'll start off with question one. We need to determine the equation of the line that's been pictured there, or the parabola that's been pictured. I've got some x-intercepts and I've got what I assume is a turning point. What I might do is I'll use the factorised form of the equation and I'll, I'll solve this one. So we wrote that one down to be y equals a x minus w x minus t. Remember those letters w and t are just the ones that we're using. So on a formula sheet you might see them as a b or a c or something different. We'll stick to them. They are just the x values of the two x intercepts. So what we'll do is we'll start writing this out and we'll say right y equals, we don't know what a is, w is going to be this value here but the opposite symbol, t is going to be this value here but the opposite symbol now when we've done this, it's looking good, except now we've got x's, y's and a's that we don't know. So what we'll do is we'll take this point on the line here and we'll take its x and y values and substitute them into our equation. So y becomes 4, we still don't know what a is, x will become 2, x will become 2, and we'll start to solve this. We've got 4. And then what I've got is a, and I've got 2 multiplied by negative 2, okay, oops, a daisy, so that's 2 multiplied by negative 2, that's where I'm getting that from, which means that 4 equals negative 4a, using the balance method, if I divide by negative 4 on both sides, I will find that a is minus 1. And so now when I go to write out my equation, what I've got is y equals minus 1 multiplied by, ooh, multiplied by x outside of x minus 4. And if you want me to elaborate on that, don't write this, but what this really is saying here is y equals minus 1x, or minus 1 outside of x plus nothing, x minus 4, okay? And that can be tidied up to um, the answer that you can see below. So this is our final answer here. Okay, moving on to question two. Question two is a parabola that passes through this random point two and negative four and has a stationary point at four and negative six. Now a stationary point is also another name for the turning point. Okay. And so in this form, in this question, we can't use the form we did above. What we're going to need to do this time is we're going to need to use the turning point form. And again, we've written that as y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Again, the letters h and k might change, like w and t above, but they mean the same thing. They are the x and the y coordinates of the turning point. So we'll substitute those in. We've got y equals, again we don't know what a is, x minus 2, oh sorry, minus 4 squared, and I got that 4 from here, and then the minus 16 gets tacked on the end and that comes from here. Now we don't know what x's, we don't know what y's and what a's are again. So what we're going to do is take this random point on the line and borrow its x and y values to solve for a. So y is now minus 4. We don't know what a is. x is 2. If we simplify that, we've got a multiplied by 
2 minus 4 is minus 2, and minus 2 squared is 4. Balance method. Add 16 to both sides. Now we've got positive 12 equals 4a. Divide by 4 on both sides. And a is 3. Now we just need to write out our equation. So we've got y equals 3 outside of x minus 4 all squared minus 16. There's no obligation to move it into expanded form. The question doesn't ask you to. So you can leave the equation in turning point form. There's no problem. Alrighty, moving on to question three. This one, we are writing down the equation of the parabola pictured again. This time we've got two points where it crosses the x-intercept. We don't know what the turning point is, and we've got a random point on a line. So we can't use turning point. We're back to the one like we did in question one, where we are saying y equals a outside of x minus w, x minus t. And we're solving, let's go uh, to, to write the equation. So y equals, we don't know what a is. We've got a value for w now. That's this one over here. So that goes in as a plus 4. We've got another one here. So that's going to go in as t as a minus 2. We've got <coughs> x's, y's, and a's unsolved. So we're going to go for a random point on the line and use its x and y values. So y becomes 7. He's still unknown. We've got a 3 plus 4 here. We've got a 3 minus 2 here. All I've got left is 7. And on this side, I've got 3 plus 4 makes 7. 3 minus 2 makes 1. So 7 times 1 makes 7a. I divide by 7 on both sides. Just balance method. I'm left with 1 equals a. So now I know what a is. I can rewrite my equation. It will be y equals 1 times x plus 4, x minus 2. Remember that little 1 is the a value, so it goes in here, but we don't write it. So that's your answer here. Question 4. This time we've got a parabola. It's, oh, and this time it's written in function form. So we've got this unusual format here, which is new to methods. Okay, and what this is basically saying is this f2 is when x is 2, y is 0. So we can see that's an x intercept. Again, here where x is minus 6, y is 0. It's a funny looking 0. And this one says where um, x is nothing, y is 24. Now that's supposed to be a 0, that one. Okay, so <clears throat> it's asking us to find the equation. So what we've got is we've got two x intercepts. This one and this one, and we've got a y-intercept, which we're just going to use as a random point on the line. So we're going to go back to our uh, factorised equation, y equals a outside of x minus w, x minus t, and we'll sub in what we can. So we've got y equals a, which is unknown x minus 2, that one comes from here, and we've got an x plus 6, that one comes from here. Now we've got x's, y's, and a's unknown again, so we will use our turning point here, oh sorry, our y-intercept here, 
as our random point that we steal our x and y values from. So y becomes 24, a is unknown, we've got an x, sorry, we've got a 0, because x has become 0, minus 2, a 0 plus 6. So now we've got 24, a times negative 2 times 6 makes negative 12 groups of a. We'll divide by negative 12 on both sides and we'll find that a is minus 2. Now all we need to do is write out our equation. So y equals our a value of minus 2 and then we go back to this part of the equation here and we write it in. Oops, in blue, not green. X minus 2, X plus 6. And we've written our equation. Alrighty. Moving on to question 5. This time we've got another parabola and we've got the two x-intercepts here and here, and we've got a random point here. Uh, the only difference with this question is it's asking us to write the answer in a different format. So we'll have to be careful to do that at the end of the question. I'll come back to that. So we can't use the turning point form. We're back to using this form, y equals a x minus w, x minus t. Let's substitute in what we can. We've got y equals an unknown a, x plus nothing, x minus 6. So again, they've come from 0 and 6. Now we've got this random point on the line, which we're going to pinch its x and y values to find out what a is. So we've got 16 equals our unknown a, 8 plus nothing, 8 minus 6. So this will be 16, a multiplied by 8 times 2, which is 16. Divide by 16 on both sides, and we'll find that a is 1. Now what we'll do is we'll write out our <coughs> equation as best we can. So we go y equals 1 outside of x plus 0, x minus 6. Now this line isn't really necessary. We could better write it as y equals just x outside of x minus 6. Now, that's where we finished all of our other questions. But remember that this question wanted it in this form here. Okay, so what we'll do instead is we will write it as fx instead of y. And then we'll expand it to x squared minus 6x. Don't worry that there's not a constant on the end. Remember, that's 0, but we wouldn't write it. Okay, so this will be our final answer. And finally, we're on to question 6. In this one, we have got a turning point here and a random point on the line here okay not very much information because we've got the turning point we don't have any x intercepts we'll use the turning point form so we'll go in with y equals a x minus h squared plus k let's substitute in what we can using the turning point this one here so we'll go in with y equals our unknown a, x minus 5, that 5 comes from here, squared, 
plus 9, and the 9 comes from here. Now we've got x's, y's, and a's that we don't know again, so we will steal this set of coordinates because it's a point on the line to get a y and an x value. So 5 equals a outside of 3 minus 5 all squared plus 9. It means that 5 equals a. And then here we've got 3 minus 5 makes minus 2, and minus 2 squared is positive 4. Balance method to get A, take 9 from both sides. Let's divide by 4 on both sides. And we'll find that A is minus 1. Now all we need to do is write out our equation. So we've got Y equals an A value of minus 1. Don't bother putting the 1 in. We get our equation that we started to write in the second line there. Question does not ask us to write it in any particular form, so we can leave it in turning point form. And we're finished.